My name is Brianna, or you can call me Brie, and today I'm going to be showing you all the books that I read for the month of February. And it's been a while since I've read any books because I have, a, I have been in a book slump, but thankfully I was able to read some books that I've been having on my TBR for quite some time. And let's get off to the bad of all the books I read for the month of February. Okay, the first book I decided to read was fourth wing this is a very popular series that everyone has been talking about and i've had this book since my birthday of last year and it came out last year but i was in such a book slump that i wasn't able to read this book when it came out but a five out of five stars i'm glad i did because it is about a girl named violet going to a college that she has to go through dressing in order to um, find a dragon or find if she gets bonded with a dragon and fight for the war that they've been going through and I love how there's romance in here I love that she is shown as a weakling and all the challenge she has to go through to continue to survive to see if she even survives to graduate the school I definitely recommend there is it was quite slow for me in the beginning because it's been a quite some time since I've read a fantasy book and fantasy books do take a while to build but it was just a fast paced book through the building and I love how it was just one thing after another after another I definitely recommend Rebecca Yarrow's thank you for the series because I've been trying to find a new series that I'm obsessed with and I slowly love this series a little bit more than the Akatar series, but we'll see because the third book does come out in December, or that's what some people are saying. But yeah, five out of five stars. Chef Kiss, I loved the fourth wing, and I wish I would have just picked it up when I got it. And for the second book, I decided to read for the month of February, I decided to read I'm Glad My Mom Died by Janelle McCurdy because. This book has been popular since it came out and people were raving about this book and oddly it took me a while to decide to read this book but I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars because I loved it but I didn't really loved it. It was hard for me to uh, like grasp all the things she's went through and like I don't know like all the because it does talk about bulimia and anorexia and it's just like a topic that just bothers me when reading it but anyways i also like the learning about what she went through when she was really popular at the time for iCarly iCarly was one of my favorite shows growing up and it's crazy to see like when you're watching the show on tv and learning the things they that happened behind the scenes was crazy i love miranda cosgrove and i wish she would have gone on the new icarly but i understand like all the trauma that she went through especially with her mom it's so unfortunate what child actors have to go through because of their parents because majority of the time their parents are pushing them to work for their family and they're like such a young age especially since she didn't get to enjoy all her money and everything unfortunate but yeah four out of five stars for i'm glad my mom died and i understood the rave then to continue the next book i read good girl bad blood by holly jackson it is a three book series from a good girl's guide to murder and I thought I was gonna have a difficult time like knowing what was happening in the book because it's been quite some time since I read the first book but it wasn't because they talked about what happened in the first book in this book and I really like that because there's some books that just go straight off the bat like and you forget what happened in the last book you read but I know I'm gonna have a hard time finishing the series because i really like the series anyways i gave this book a five out of five stars because 
it was interesting to see what Pip goes through, goes through, especially at like her age, because she is kind of like a mini detective for her community, even though her community, like majority of her community, hates that all these secrets and all these things are coming out. But like she's just trying to help figure out all these little mysteries. In the first book, I did have a difficult time finishing because. I, I was stressing out so much to finish the first book and it was kind of dark for me but this book wasn't as dark as the first one and yeah I really liked Pip and Robbie and they're just trying to find a person that is missing and it was very interesting. I can't, read, I can't wait to read the third book. Next was Bernie Spears, The Woman in Me. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars because I do enjoy Britney Spears, but I'm not that much of a fan of hers. But I liked learning about how she became famous and all the things she went through. But Justin Timberlake, why you have to do that to her? Like, I'm such a huge fan of NSYNC, but like, it was upsetting to see like a man. Like, men do that. Like, why? But anyways, I just like seeing what Britney Spears went through. She kind of went through similar things as Jenny McCurdy, but not so similar at the same time. Like, about her weight and, uh, like, how she had to look in the public eye and just be, like, good girl. And she's just trying to paint herself. But, yeah. Britney Spears, three out of five stars. I just learned about all the things. Some things I already knew because of social media, but some things I didn't know as she was trying to get there as a star. And then for the final book that I read for the month was Iron Flame, which is the second book to the series of Fourth Wing. I know it's called a different name, but I just call it the Fourth Wing series because I had to get the second book because I loved the first book. And it's just a continuation of Violet and her just trying to graduate and she does find out things in the first book at the end of the plot there's a twist because there's a plot twist and they just continue in the book and I thought it was so interesting I really love the romance especially in this book because I cried with the romance which is funny because i don't cry when there's romance in books but for some reason this book got me in my feelings and i just love the dragons and i still love all the people in this book and i can't wait to read the third book that comes out this one i do give another five out of five stars so yeah and those are all the books that i read for the month of february i didn't want to, didn't read as much as I liked but hopefully in March I do get to read more books and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.